Asian style cauliflower rice and air fried salmon. Healthy, low carb and delicious, perfect for lunch or dinner. Hey everyone, this is Tass and welcome to my channel. I hope everybody is doing great. In this video, I'm going to share a delicious low carb recipe with you guys. So if you are following a low carb diet or if you want to reduce carbs in your diet, you should try this recipe. So it's going to be Asian style cauliflower rice and air fried salmon. When it comes to low carb recipes, one of the most popular recipes has been cauliflower rice. So we have seen so many different variations of cauli rice, right? So I have tried a few recipes and honestly, some of the recipes I did not like it. It was very bland and I could feel the raw taste of cauliflower. So my taste buds did not approve it. I didn't give up and I kept trying. Finally tried this Asian style cauliflower rice. It was really delicious, very flavorful and aromatic just like our Asian style fried rice so it didn't feel like I was having cauliflower so along with uh, healthy and uh, air fried salmon so this was a perfect meal for lunch or dinner so guys let's get started here is the cauliflower head so this is medium sized so with cauliflower I do this all the time after I separate the florets I dip them in warm water for 15 minutes so that way if there are any bugs hidden within the florets everything will be released into the water so here are the cauliflower florets I'm going to add them to a food processor and grate them so we have to do this in two batches here is the grated cauliflower so let's keep this aside. Place a wok or a large white pan over medium heat. So next I'm going to add 1 tablespoon sesame oil so it's very important to add sesame oil. It will impart great flavor and aroma. To the oil let's add ginger and garlic minced around half tablespoon so I have taken fresh ginger and garlic. Saute for a couple of minutes till ginger and garlic gets aromatic and turns golden in color. So next let's add 2 tablespoon green onions. Saute for a couple of minutes so the aroma that's coming out of this is really amazing. Next adding 1 onion chopped so I have taken yellow onions. Saute till onions turn slightly translucent. Next, I'm going to add one carrot. So I have shredded the carrot in the food processor. So by adding carrot, it will give a nice color to the cauli rice. So if you don't want to add carrots, you can skip it. Stir fry for a couple of minutes. Next, I'm going to add one green pepper chopped small or you can add a red pepper instead of green pepper. So stir fry everything for a couple of minutes. So the green pepper and carrots have turned soft so now let's add the grated cauliflower so give it a good mix and stir fry for a couple of minutes you can literally add any kind of vegetables to this mushrooms and peas will be a great addition i'm not going to add those up i've only added green pepper and carrots Let's close the wok with a lid and allow the cauliflower to cook for at least 5 minutes so it will turn soft. After 5 minutes of cooking, I'm going to open the lid and let's stir fry everything. So it's turning a bit dry so I'm going to add a quarter cup water and then continue to cook for a couple more minutes. Now it's time to add all the Asian sauces so adding 2 tablespoon low sodium soy sauce so it's good to add low sodium soy sauce so we can adjust the salt level so regular soy sauce is very salty so next going to add 1 tablespoon hoisin sauce 1 tablespoon chili sauce or if you have chili paste you can add that Give everything a good mix and let stir fry this for a couple of minutes.
I have increased the heat to high and still frying over high heat. So let some of the cauliflower turn light golden brown in color. So just like we make uh, fried rice. Next, going to add half tablespoon white sesame seeds. So if you have black sesame seeds, you can add that. So sesame seeds will impart a nice nutty flavor to this collie rice. I love the bite of sesame seeds in this. Next, adding quarter cup chopped cilantro. Combine it well. Going to squeeze one tablespoon freshly squeezed lime juice. So I personally love the taste of lime juice. If you don't have lime juice and if you have lemon juice, you can add that as well. Finally, let's drizzle with one teaspoon pure sesame oil. So please don't skip this step. The final drizzle of sesame oil will make a huge difference in the taste and flavor of this dish. Uh, so we only have to add a teaspoon of sesame oil. So let's do a final stir fry over high heat. So that's it guys. Remove the wok from the heat and keep it covered for a few minutes. With the low carb collie rice, I'm going to serve air fried salmon. So I'm going to share that easy recipe with you guys. So I've taken two salmon steak. For marinating the salmon, going to add a few Indian spices, half teaspoon chili powder. If you want this to be mild, you can add Kashmiri chili powder, a few pinches of turmeric powder. That's like one eighth teaspoon half teaspoon cumin powder so i love the smoky flavor of a cumin half teaspoon paprika so if you don't have any of these spices you can skip it and you can add any of your favorite seasonings or spices or dried herbs so finally adding some salt so spread everything over the salmon steaks Adding half tablespoon freshly squeezed lime juice or lemon juice. Allow this to marinate for 15 minutes to 30 minutes. Next, let's air fry salmon. So I'm using my Instant Pot Duo Crisp and Air Fryer. So I place the stainless steel pot into the stainless steel pot, placing air fryer basket. And I'm also going to place the broil tray into the air fryer basket. So let's grease the broil tray with a non-stick cooking spray. Let's place the marinated salmon steaks on the broil tray. So you can use any kind of air fryer and if you don't have salmon, you can use any kind of fish of your choice. So let's close the pot with the air fryer a lid. Select air fry setting. So I'm going to set the time to 15 minutes uh, at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. In 15 minutes, air frying has completed. So let's open the lid. So here are the air fried salmon steaks. So I'm going to place the air fryer lid on the protective pad. Be very gentle while taking this out. So I'm going to use a white spatula and a tong and take this out of the air fryer. So look at this air fry to perfection. And I love that beautiful golden brown. It's slightly crusty on the outside. It's time to serve. So here is our delicious and aromatic collie rice. So I'm going to serve this on a plate. And place the air fried salmon on top of the collie rice. So look at this guys. This is a perfect low carb meal. Tastes really delicious and can be served for lunch or dinner. So I've also placed uh, lime veg. Here you have it guys. 
healthy, low carb and tasty Asian style cauliflower rice with air fried salmon. So this will be perfect for lunch or dinner. So do give this recipe a try and let me know your feedback. So I do have the written recipe on my blog. I'll post the link in the description below. Check that out. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe. I'll be back with more low carb recipes. Until then, happy cooking, take care and bye.